shave it off, dog. What? What? Are you an egg? <laughs> We've got a bunch of sassy ass niggas, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh damn. Damn. So she drove you crazy. Um. I'm. I'm sorry. Access your fit. Who's what's going on? It's your boy Malama YouTube, and welcome back to Seated with Boma Lomi. We still haven't got a name suggestion, guys. <laughs> Please help us. <laughs> we need something. We are begging you. Of anything, course. like absolutely anything. Of course, I'm with Lebo Rampedi. Yes, sir. It's your favorite younger brother, Lebo Hamuli from Pedi the Third, aka Bravois. Yes, Danko. Last time you said your favorite younger brother, you killed me. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? You said your favorite younger brother. Yeah, I'm everyone's younger brother. Apparently, you know. Yeah, I was saying, can I can I speak about the promo code thing so the brands can hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I was shit. saying this now. People think I'm a promo code Tata Rampedi, <laughs> and it has to stop. It has to stop. Okay. Yeah. So today's topics, <laughs> we've got a few topics today. Um, you guys know the format of the show. We just, you know, we have some some fun. We laugh a bit, read some tweets, and we just, you know, make it about our lives. But but before all of that, we have to go into the mental health check. How are you, Tata Rampedi? I'm good, bro. Everything is good. I just have an icebreaker for you. I have an icebreaker. I'm you good. You made an icebreaker? I've got an icebreaker. Okay. Hit me. <laughs> you don't want an icebreaker? No, it's cold enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm good, bro. Everything is good. Uh, I posted that I'm, I am posted the person I'm dating. Oh, yes, uh, yo. Kala, 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 kala. <laughs> 10 past TikTok, 10 past Twitter. Yeah. People are saying this. People are saying that. We uh, thought she's just a friend. Even me, I was shocked, guys. Yeah. People say, Le, what do you think? I'm shocked also. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm also a view. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, the craziest thing was all of my, because all of my close friends know. So yeah. uh, Lucas knows, yeah. Tumi knows, Hunter knows. But you guys are busy commenting like, what? Oh my gosh, what's happening? What? I said, I, I remember I distinctly commented, love this for you. No, that's my close friends, not my family. Oh, they were all commenting like, yeah, I saw that. They were acting surprised. It was, it was like a, it was like a, it was like the people who made the movie, like saying, oh my God, like that was the first time I ever watched this movie. Like, oh my God, what? You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just reacting. Why, also, what, what was the, why, why? Why now? Uh, Bro, you know me, bro, I like laughing out loud. So this was kind of tough keeping it in. Like, yeah. even though we were keeping on the down low, like, I was still posting her everywhere. She was on all of my TikToks. She's all over my YouTube channel. So I was like, as much as I wasn't saying it, it was still happening. And I was like, you know, let me just say it. Like, yeah. fuck it. Like, I was like, you know, what's the point? Like, what's, there's no point to not to hide it. But now I'm seeing, like, there's a lot of negative as well on Twitter and stuff, which is kind of boring. Yeah. But it's like, it's Twitter and TikTok. Like, TikTok is literally the new Twitter. Yeah. Like, people can be so toxic on, on TikTok too. But I don't care because people are painting their own narrative, bro. Come on, come on I only started dating, like, five months ago. Yeah, like recently, and people make it seem like it's a thing that's been happening. We were actually best friends when we were saying we were best friends last year. You know, but you know. I'm yeah, not also, also, myself. like, have to just understand that anyone who posts like a TikTok, their first immediate thought is, "What can I post that will trend?" They don't yeah. care about feelings, emotions. emotions. What, what, this, this, that, that. I've made so many TikToks that I had to like in my mind. Like, I was like, "Nah, let me delete this because I'm just being insensitive to something." You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, man. What can you do? I get that. How are you doing? How am I? Mm. I like your whole paper. What's my whole paper? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I can. There's a TikTok. It's out. <laughs> this is my whole paper what for the it? camera. I don't know if they can see it. Let me see. Take there a screenshot. This is Hunter Monaka, right? Yeah. <laughs> that TikTok yeah. was fire. That is yeah. fire. I took this photo. I took that TikTok. You actually. made the TikTok? Yeah, I, I made that. I, I, I so, TikTok. how did you feel when she was uh, licking Hunter's lips? <laughs> I was just there, like, is this what we do, bro? <laughs> like, is, when the numbers are down, is this what we do? <laughs> so, in today's conversation, guys, we're going to be speaking about what was highly respected but is now a complete joke. Uh, got a bunch of those from Twitter. What is a modern scam but now is normalized? What gives women the ick? And then we've got the tweet of the week, which is coming from Lebo this time, yeah. uh, which is, how did you guys pick your degrees? But like I said, I got an icebreaker, bro. Listen to me. Okay. Her, I think I'm pregnant. You, voice note, two seconds. What do you say? Damn. 
What are you that's going just, to that's do? Two that's two seconds. Ah, oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> wait, wait. She's pregnant. My child. Yes. Oh, then I'm just gonna be there, like, Kev. No, you also no, no, ready. No, this is gonna be me, bro. <laughs> Change my name <laughs> to Kenya. People, li- people meet me in Kenya. What's your name? Uh, Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'd, I'd just be so happy to have a kid. Did I always forget that like we're old enough to like? Nope, no, we're not. I feel like children. I still feel like if we had kids, even though we're like in our mid twenties, I feel like it's a teenage pregnancy. Like I am not. No, gonna, uh, I'm telling you, I'm 26 and I'm scared of kids, bro. Like I, I kid you not, I can count. Like I have a full hand now, and that's how I measure it. I have a full hand of people I can say who have a kid that yeah, I like I associate with. But also, their lives aren't oh, the different. Same as ours, way bro. different. Way different. What would you do right now? Your girlfriend's just like, "Yo, listen. Um, fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, I'm fortunately. pregnant. <laughs> fortunately for who? <laughs> fortunately, I'm pregnant. Um, uh, I'd yeah. probably be like, eh, are you sure? That's not a good response, no? That's a horrible. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, no. <laughs> I think I'd probably be like, uh, damn. I'd probably be uh, like, I'd be like, oh, that means we're pregnant, right? Yeah. That's also, that's also a bad response. Cause duh. Yeah. I don't think anyone's like ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think I'd probably like take some time to think about the response. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. The no. second one, someone said dating is collecting information about someone until you realize that you don't like them anymore. Do you agree or disagree? I completely disagree. Um, Dating someone some I read this someone when when I was going through my first breakup I read this and it stayed with me for like forever and I think of it of dating so when you date someone um, when you date someone it is an experience it is a journey it is compared mm. to the the best comparison to any relationship in your life is the wind right when the wind comes for you and you feel it on your skin it is with you but when it is gone you cannot grab onto it you cannot keep it with you you can only feel it when it's with you you get what i'm saying and it's powerful when it's with you yeah and <laughs> i'm so that's the saying no 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 i'm so sorry it's just <laughs> what in the ghost tube is going when on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no yeah but dating is an experience bro it's just like the i like that comparison because people think that people think that when you fail at a relationship, it's a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing because you're just building yourself for the person that's going to be perfect for you. 100%. I agree with that, bro. Like, dating needs a lot of trial and error, and then you basically learn how to love somebody. Yeah. You, learn, you learn your toxic traits, how to deal with your toxic traits, and you learn how to deal with somebody else's toxic trait. And that's the biggest thing. Yeah. The biggest thing is being able to see that someone has a toxic trait and they don't yeah. mean harm. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. You know how many people there are in this world, bro? And you choose to date a selective few people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what are the, like the odds, I always think about this, the odds of me being with this said person on this earth at this time, it's literally a miracle. Mm. It's a blessing, bro. Mm. Facts. You're going to the first one. <laughs> yeah. I think that was so deep. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, we need a proper list. What gives you the ick? So basically a bunch of women has told us what gives them the ache. I've Here got a go. big feeling it's going to be about men, but and it could money. be about... And money. But it could be about life. Whoa, bro. No, it's always money. Um, money, if, money. He's, if he's cheap, it'll be over before it even started. Next one. Let's see if the next one's not about money. Okay. She says, me, I don't. Him, why? What is why? So when guys say why? I don't get it. Men can't say why anymore. Having an ex or multiple exes. I can't fail. <laughs> <laughs> Being unprepared or unable to function in unexpected situations. Nothing in this world is less sexy to me than someone who just f- um, flails around helplessly when things don't go to No, 100%. Me. That's not a man. Facts. And your, your and daughter <laughs> must be able to come up with a solution. 100%. Imagine, a- imagine you're with your girl yeah. at the club. Mm. A fight breaks out. You lose your mind. You're having a panic attack there, bro. I don't, I, I, I don't know what to do, babe. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, should we go to security? Yo, should we, should we? So I, I actually had a debate with this with my homegirls. We're talking about, because it, it ties in with um, men who are in touch with their feelings and then men who are overly expressive. How do you feel about just crying? 
Like a guy just crying. Yeah. Like, let's Honestly say speaking, every day I come to you and I cry once. No, not every day. Like yeah. once a week I cry to you. And it's like, because women, like, and, and I know, I know it's not everyone. I'm, I'm, it is a huge generalization. But a lot of women are so in touch with their feelings that when things get like really overwhelming, they are able to cry. But men don't aren't able to do that. If if I was able to do that, would you think of me as like less of a man? <laughs> Honestly speaking, if you cried everywhere we went, the way I was raised, bro, I can't even show emotion. Yeah. You understand? So based on how I was raised, to be honest, I'd look at you differently. I'd be like, bro, I know everywhere we, everywhere we go, we buy McD, you start crying. <laughs> When, when when something goes wrong, you start crying. Sensi, sensi, asu, sensi. Like, hey, guys, oh never. my god, that's what that's what Mama used to say to us when we were. You know, what Mama used to no, say that. No, but she said she used to get called sensi, great. Oh yes, 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 she used to yes, get called sensi. But honestly speaking, yeah, I would look at you as someone that can't. Because for me, when you're crying, you can't problem solve. Yeah, and Your that's problems like, overwhelm you so much, and this is expressive crying. Your problems overwhelm you so much that you can't come up with a solution. But like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> get yourself together. <laughs> like I'm, I'm being. I know this is, this might sound rough, but I'm being honest. Like no, but it's that thing of like, bro, p- like put yourself to get, like put yourself, put yourself together, like put yourself together. But it's crazy when women cry. We like are oh, the no, most. Okay. You are the most understanding person. But yeah. if you're, you you, I, I tell you, your own brother cries once a week. And it's a different story, man. Once a week is okay, bro. Maybe like you have to let it out. You know, some people deal yeah. with things differently. But I'm just saying, whenever t- whenever there's a problem, you're gonna cry, bro. Get your stuff to like switch on. When there's no gap between their teeth, just plaque. Wait, like <laughs> when there's no gap between their teeth, I don't get it. Do you get it? Isn't plaque like when you don't brush your teeth, so they they have the gap? Oh, there's no lines. It's just the white stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I agree with that. I agree yeah. with that. That's 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 not an egg. That's just like unhygienic. Yeah, yeah. Guys who wear ripped jeans and sag their pants, like boy, I don't want to see your ass cheeks. Maybe he's trying to flirt. <laughs> who wrote this? A forty-five-year-old woman. But now, nah, but dude, wearing ripped jeans in twenty twenty-three. You're an extremist. Is insane. As a but as a lady, it's okay. I can't skin do it. Looks dull. Yeah, yeah. No, the, 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 like when they do like a little bit of thigh, a little bit of like knee, a little bit yeah. of like, what's this part of the thing? Shin. <laughs> <laughs> I almost hurt myself. When someone texts you WYD. What's that? Um, what's that? <laughs> what's that? If you see it, what you're doing, like, oh, what you like doing? using abbreviations or saying anything sexual to me when I don't already, when I already have my, what? Or saying anything sexual to me when they aren't already my man. So guys that use abbreviations and guys that are hypersexual. Yeah. I, I think she's just complaining about people with no riz. Yeah. Because mm. I think that in like, you know when you... To find riz for the people my age. Riz. Riz is... It's not an act. It's not a... It's game. It's like having game. No, no. It's more than that. It's more than that. It's 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 the game. It's not not just not the game, having it's like, game. Yeah. It's the game. You know what I'm saying? It's the man's game. Like, the game. That's what, what is it? It's the game. Oh, it's short for charisma. Wow. Where'd you read that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's the game, bro. Like, having Riz. Uh, but I, I really don't like this new age Riz thing. I think that I'm more old school. I like the word Mac. Like, when people Mac. Because I think that all the real men are, like, done now. I think there's a lot of gents. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me, hear me out. Hear me out. All the real men are done now. Niggas complain more about Guababa than they do about like back in my day. <laughs> no, no, no. Hear me out. Back in my day, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you wanted to flirt with a woman, you mm. just did it. Yeah. Now these uh, like, shout out my boy Siv, but now there's even TikTokers that shame you for trying and all these things and what what and this this that. And it's like, bro, the game has changed. Like men don't have the confidence that they used to when it comes to like flirting anymore. We've got a bunch of sassy ass niggas actually. Now that I think about it. Oh damn! Had to get that off my chest, bro. You know yeah. what happened to me the other day? Yeah. This guy, uh, I don't know if I actually I'm gonna say I'm gonna speak about it. Yeah. This guy, like, texted one of my exes, right, and basically said. Yo, like, is this your king? This little boy. You're showing, showing, about, showing her a picture of you. Yeah, talking about me. It's like, is this your king? This little boy. And I was just there like, where's the sportsmanship? 
<laughs> it's distasteful, you know. Like why is yeah, why is he yeah, pushing like, game? What happened? What happened to name? what happened to sportsmanship? You know, back back in my day, yeah, there was sport, there was etiquette. Yeah, it's about it's, a, it's about the skill. Yeah, there it's was about etiquette. The, there was the flavor, the performance, the, the va voom If I can say nowadays, the antics. Yeah, the, so, the nuances of it all. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh damn. Uh, half grown or patchy beards, mustache. It's all about you. So, like the same guys that have half grown or patchy beards. How do you feel about that? But you're an ick. <laughs> <laughs> Shave it off, dog. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Josephina Maria says you're an ick. <laughs> She doesn't fuck with your patchy ass beard. <laughs> it's in development. <laughs> um, messy men, uh, messy men were a huge no for me. Bathroom in shambles, towel smelling musty. I'm just overall guy. little care for their space, which in turn makes me think they are unhygienic. I'm such a messy. I'm I definitely at fault to that. Like I'm such a messy guy. Like. I, I was like when I, I know it sounds very posh, but when growing up, everything was like literally like done for me. Like my room would get cleaned, everything, what I It'll get made, and that obviously affects me now in my adulthood. But like it's that thing of like being conscious of your space is very important. Also, bro, I never spend any time in my own space. I'm always out. It's if I'm at school, it's if I'm shooting something or I'm doing something out. But I literally come home to sleep and eat and shower. Yeah, but won't kill you to like wake up and then make the bed. And then yeah, 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 no, real. But yo, yeah. like, I, I, I definitely think a lot of men actually struggle with hygiene, bro. I think a lot of men, and you know why, ne? Our moms. Oh yes, I know why. Because me and those. me and Hans actually once spoke about this, because taking care of yourself is seen as a female trait. Yeah, continue speak on that. It's so basically, taking care of yourself is seen as like feminine. As or you're like as doing, as your as nails, doing your nails, doing your nails, doing your hair at the time. It seems like it's 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 portrayed as feminine. Yeah. So then now niggas like they, they struggle with that thing because it's like damn, like he, you'll be because yeah. there's someone who's yeah, yeah, maybe homosexual even. They'll be like, yeah. oh, you're hom- that's so homosexual. Yeah. So it uh, seems very. Feminine. I hear what you say. I don't agree with it. Niggas just lazy. Niggas need to just clean themselves. Yeah. Up. No. No. Yeah. yeah no. Also, because we're away. Also, lack of self love. Mm. Yeah. But I, I definitely agree with this. I think with us, the biggest flop, because even I'm unlearning like my... I want to But you've done like a lot my, of growth in the past like five ways. months. Yeah, my my messy ways... Bro, everything we had was... Like, yeah, everything we had growing up was done for us. Like, yeah. bro, we didn't make our beds growing up and, like when we were like... Like very, very young. Even teenagers, bro. Yeah. Which is bad. It's horrible, yo. If they think eating a lot of meat is a personality trait, who does that? Who's, who's I don't that? know. I don't do that. I just, is that I don't a pers- is, is that, that a real thing? I I I men that can't drive. I get that. 100%. What are you doing Sent. as an daughter that can't drive? Uh, dude, when I had a skateboard, I, I I didn't have a license. I didn't have a car. I had a skateboard, and that would be everyone would constantly remind me how I don't have a license. Yeah, G, you always had a license, yo. Oh, sorry. We've you just always had a license. Yeah, me. Yeah. But I turned 18 I think when you were 13, got a license. you were like, oh, yes, yeah. When you said 18, sorry. Yeah. Like I, but for me, it's a sad story, bro. Why? Like, I was in, I think I was in first year. Yeah. I was dating the girl that you know. Oh, yeah. And then I got my license so that I could, like, take out for dinner on her birthday. Yeah. Got my license. What? Yeah, got my license. Convinced Papa to take one of the cars. Took one of the cars. The CLK. Yeah. To one of the cars, drove down to Pretoria. Mind you, fought with Papa for that because he said, "Nah, get your license, you can drive the car." Yeah. So obviously, like he's still like he's, he's worried that I might crash the car because mm-hmm. I'm young and everything. I get the car, bro. I'm like, yo, I'm outside your rest. Like, let me pick you up. That time, the car's like lit. Yeah, lit, like convertible, very lit. dope. It's, yeah, yeah. Mercedes Benz. Bro, she's like, oh no, I'm going, on, I'm going on for dinner with my ex. He booked a place like four months ago where while we were still dating. So like, I kind of have to do it. Bro, this guy took it to like some restaurant where you can. I could have walked into that restaurant, and they were still dating. wasn't even her ex. She was just playing like both of us. So, so she motivated me getting my license. Let's move on. Damn. So she drove you crazy. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I'm then, so sorry. When someone says you're overthinking, so girls hate it. <laughs> oh, what? Like if a guy says, "Ah, you're overthinking it." 
Oh, but maybe, you, like, maybe you are, dog. Yeah. My hand always overthinks a lot of things. I, um, I, I can't even judge anyone because I overthink everything, yo. But like, yo. But it's so annoying sometimes when you're speaking to someone and they're like, okay, no, no, like, let's go do one, two, three, five, and six. And they're like, no, what if this, what if that, what if that? It's just like, we have to leave. Like, we have to, like, at some point in time, since now we have to wait for you. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny jeans, leggings on a man. Disgusting. <laughs> leggings! <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair. Skinny jeans aren't that bad. <laughs> but, <laughs> but this thing is leggings on a man. <laughs> I will move to the next one as level catches himself. <laughs> Nose and ear piercings <laughs> and any type of piercing on a man that I'm supposed to see as a masculine figure in my bed. <laughs> I have earrings, so I take offense to that. Uh, but I think, oh yeah, she does. I think having earrings is so cool as a guy. I think it's the coolest thing ever. I think. <laughs> I, I value so these things like as gents now there's a couple of cool things we can like do for our bodies like tattoos whatever, whatever. I think getting earrings is like the top it's cool I think it can definitely elevate a man especially if you have a very yes. clean, if you have a very clean look yes. and you yes. get like piercings yes. like even when Zero got piercings bro it changed them yeah he looks he looks divine <laughs> I don't say divine but look better delicious chocolate man um, grown men riding electric scooters what Baby, you never been to Cape Town, bro. I be riding those electric scooters all the time. That's so why you say, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what are you an egg? <laughs> uh, the mommy's boys. I like it when guys are close with their moms and family, but when his mother controls his world, it's a no-no. I, I honestly always hear about this thing, but I've never seen it. You <laughs> don't have any mirrors. What do you mean? What does that do? <laughs> I don't have any mirrors. I am not a mommy's boy. Bro. What? I'm not a mommy's boy. I love my mother. I'm not a mommy's boy. You really think I'm a mommy's boy? <laughs> I think you're a mommy's boy. There's no way you think that. What possible reason could you think that uh, I'm a mommy's boy? Like, give me like two. <laughs> like, you're better now. But like, in university, you get sick. The first thing you do is call mama. Because she knows what the medical aid number is. I <laughs> know. Before that, you ask her to know what to do. I do I go to the doctor, she'll wait one more day. Ha ah, baby. <laughs> That's my mother, boy. <laughs> Yo, being a man is tough. You can't ask for advice from your mother. Oh, wait, give me another like one more. You can't. I'm the other about you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like you Nah, but Kea, you're right. I am not a mommy's boy. I'm not a mommy's boy. I think boy. I just I think maybe in comparison to me, I, I look at you more as a mommy's boy in comparison. I think not a mommy's boy, but like I, you have I a think better connection to mama. All of our parents' children are hyper, and I mean hyper, like independent. Like they they yo, like we are so like everyone for themselves. Like everyone yeah. is so like can take care of themselves. Like they don't like really need help back from home or whatever. Like we all like really like in our own worlds. I see people and like I, I'm always so envious of people like calling their mothers and fathers like every single day, updating them where they are, what they ate, this, this, that. Like, I'm just always just there like, that's such a beautiful relationship. But at the same time, I'm just there like, that could never be me. Be me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro. So, Varvas ye. Bro. No like Bro. When the crown was kudu 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 Tempest it, 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 Bro, I was passed out during the earthquake, bro. You didn't hear it. Bro, so the night before, uh, Matladi was over in Best. Yes, yeah. Right? So, so, because, so it's Matladi's birthday the next day. The day of the tremor. Yeah. It's Matladi's birthday. Yeah. So we're all chilling. Went to Greenside. Got a couple drinks. I'm there with my baby. Yeah. Uh, we're chilling. And then, you know, uh, we get lit. So yeah. we go to, we come and I go to sleep. Pass out. Yeah. And then from there, I wake up at like six, bro. I see a WhatsApp message on the trending. <laughs> no, no, no. Best just says I'm earthquake. <laughs> he sent a, he's one, you distracted me. He sent, he sent a thing. He said earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah, bro. That was the first time I ever learned that there's a difference between an earthquake and, and a, a tremor. tremor. What was that though? I don't know, bro. Okay, so let me pick, let me give you like, close your eyes. You're in the bed, ne? I get, 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 I get. The headboard is shaking. The books are falling. Everything is just moving. I'm there like, what do I do? What do I do? Let me open Twitter. <laughs> that was the first response, bro. But what did you do? 
I, I don't know what you did. I made a TikTok. You insensitive <laughs> prick. <laughs> I made a TikTok. Like, you know what's so funny about take me, that? Take me through what is going on in your mind, bro. So, okay, so the- You're sleeping. The tremor happens and everything is just shaking. I go, I open up Twitter. Oh, no, no. I see my WhatsApp status just, just flowing. Guys, what happened? Is everyone okay? No, 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 no. I'm like, oh my God. Let me make a TikTok. Like I was like, let me make let me make a TikTok right now, right here about this current event and be a news anchor for this. Keep in mind, uh, you can keep in mind the fact that Johannes, Johannesburg could have slunk into a hole. I wouldn't have not known. Mm. I haven't checked the news. I haven't checked anything, but I was like, let me make the TikTok. I put my phone up, switch on the lights, get into the blanket, shoot the TikTok once. I'm like, I didn't like this one. Shoot it again. Then I posted it, but it did, it did really well. It did really well. I think it got... Like 200K? Yeah, 242,000 views. That's dope. Yeah, yo. So, so you felt an... Quarter of a million so, views. So yeah, dope. It's <laughs> a lot of views. <laughs> I was just saying, the first thing that you saw, <coughs> thought, th- th- uh, first thing you thought to do was to entertain. Yeah. That has to be like a... Like a rock. mental illness. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that has to be like no, a... But, no, I just, I just... I always tell people, I think you're... a I think you're a genius when it comes to content and you know what people want to consume. Yeah. And you know what's going to, like, you you can see the trend before the graph goes up. Yeah, but maybe I should have, like, you know, checked on you or something. You could have, I think you should have walked, but then how long was, how long was Earthquake? Uh, dude, it was literally, like, less than a minute. For me, let me. Oh, so, like, longer than, longer than 10 seconds? Yeah. It was maybe, like, maybe, like, 20 to 30 seconds. That's long. Like, yeah. like, 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 Dude, like, I was there like, what is, like, I, I, I remember I was like, what's going on? I started praying. I did pray also. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Because I really thought that was like, like God coming to fetch me. <laughs> <laughs> I get so that. I'm saying, oh, no, no, Jesus, I'm not ready. I'm like, I was like, I was super scared. Like, I'm, I'm in my mind. I'm like, no, this is the day that God like has come for me personally. Yeah. But anyways, there's a couple of tweets, you know, as we're reading tweets um, here. But um, person said, I felt a tremor. Or it was Ayo, actually. I felt a tremor and all I did was give a bombastic side eye. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Imagine the first thing you do, you just did like, this is Donayo. Yeah. So, so the first thing he did was give a, a bombastic side eye. Yeah, but he tweeted something else that was so real. He said, the tremor just made me realize I have zero emergency response reflexes. And I was just there like, that's so true, bro. Like, tell me right now. Yeah. Right here, right now. Five steps that you would do if we had an earthquake right now. And I'm talking like the house is going down. Five steps. Like five under steps that what I would do? No, no, no. The five steps. <laughs> oh, these five steps? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, young, loved ones and young ones, get them to safety. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I'm grabbing my vlog, vlog camera. I'm starting to press record. I'm getting all my equipment, ha. putting it in a backpack, put it into my car, and I'm driving. Ha. <laughs> like I'm driving and I'm trying to capture as much content with my hand. And you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Like I'm, like I'm genuine. I'm getting, my, I'm getting all my valuables, bro, which is my equipment. <coughs> I can always buy new clothes. Yeah, but no, that thing was like, that I'm, I'm vlogging everything. I'm recording everything. Yo, guys, what's happening? Yeah, bro. Like, but I think the one that's that's again, you're sick. <laughs> Two, like, no, I think that the tremors it just made us realize that the country is actually going to shit. Yeah, the, the one lying in primary school like, teachers. If like, no, the country's going to. Sh- How bad does the economy have to be for us to have a tremor, <laughs> bro? Load shedding. It has never been this bad. Load water shedding, shedding. Earthquake. Water shedding. Exam marks are out. I, I've, I've saw someone say, what level was that earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, is it going to get worse or what? So like, who do you, but like, also, bro, who do you even blame for an earthquake? The government. What's the next earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, and then the next one was just like, yo, I didn't cover natural disasters in Elo. And I really thought about it. Do you know South Africa is one of the few countries that don't have like, you know, like tornadoes and tsunamis and all those things, whatever, whatever. Yeah. which is why it's also a huge tourist attraction because people usually it's don't safe. go to, yes, it's it's safe. No, uh, not well, safe. It's safe from the... Yeah, it's safe, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not safe. It's safe. But it's safe. <laughs> it's not, we, South Africa is like, you know, it's like, um, it's like, it's like buying something from, it's like buying something from China. 
Yeah, yes. It's like you know it's going to work for a while, but <laughs> you don't know. You don't know how long it's going how to work. How long? It's like buying a charger from, you know, like my friend. Yeah, you you don't know how long the charger is going to work. It's going to work. Yeah. But you don't know the the, the how long it's going to work. Yeah. 100%. But we're going to move on to the next tweet. The next one was basically uh the tweet of the week. I don't know if you want to cover this now. Can we hit it? Yeah, you can do it. So this is your tweet, yeah? Yeah. What so did you tweet? This week it's me. I tweeted the tweet of the week and it was basically how did you guys pick your degrees? Before we read the tweets, obviously we're going to go one by one and go. You know the first yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Yours was nice. Yeah. Let me do mine first. Yeah, it was a very good experience. Because mine makes, mine actually influenced how you chose. Yes, yours. how mine chose, yeah. So with me, in, in high school, my dad made me believe that I was smart. Yeah. But I was actually like a C student. I was getting 60s. I wasn't the smartest kid. Yeah. So I was getting 16 accounting, 16 in maths, just 60s everywhere. Like, yeah. This is grade eight to like grade 11. But I was passing. And I was good, and I was, I was doing like hard subjects. Like I was doing your physics, I was doing your we did chemistry, physics, yeah. accounting, and I, was, I did music. Mm. And then obviously I did uh, maths. Then I did AP maths for like a month and I dropped it. You did AP maths? For a month and then I dropped it. Hey man, and then you dropped to what? I, dro- I dropped the module, the subject. Oh, you went to maths? No, I you do maths and you do AP. Hey man, now yo, I don't so, know, we, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so now my dad said, no, always make sure that you get your maths and science right so you can become an engineer. Yeah. And I said, cool. So this is grade eight. What do you want to be? I'm like, I want to be a pilot. He's like, no, no, you should, come, you should become an engineer. Yeah. I said, okay, cool. No, you really wanted to become a pilot, bro. Yeah. No. Grade nine comes. What do you want to be? A pilot. He's like, you know, you know, pilots, they always fly and then their wives cheat on them. Yeah, I remember <laughs> this. <laughs> then I was like, okay, cool. I'm not trying to get my wife, to, I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to get cheated on, yeah. so I won't be a pilot. He said, what you want to be? I'm like, no, I want to become an accountant. Mm. He's like, oh, you want to do what I did? I'm like, yeah, like, I want to problem solve and stuff. He goes, well, you know. <laughs> let's, in, let's. in 1973, there was only three accountants <laughs> in the entire country. <laughs> I was one <laughs> out of them. You understand? Yeah. So now, yeah, so now I'm like, okay, cool. I want to be accounting like you. And he's like, mm, you know, like what you just said. And then eventually I said, Maybe I could become an engineer. He's like, yeah, come here, come sit here. Come sit here. <laughs> so let's let's decide which university. Yeah. I'm like, no, I, I can go to like UJ or like Vits. I don't know, no, 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 no. We've got to UCT. <laughs> you can also explore Harvard. <laughs> There's UP. <laughs> so he basically, yeah, he basically the brainwashed me. Black parents yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, he brainwashed me to become an engineer. So me, the funny story is that- I wish I was you. Yeah, the funny story is that, so my dad wanted me to become an engineer as well. Right, but uh, you're, you're and I got and I got the marks, like my marks, my metric marks had. So basically, I had been failing school from grade eight all the way grade to R. Grade, <laughs> sorry, grade R all the way to like grade, grade 10. ten, right? And grade doing, eleven, grade eleven actually. Yeah, you're right. Grade ten, grade eleven, in some, somewhere around there, and I'd been doing horribly. Like we're talking 50, 40, 50, 40, 50, 40, just passed, just passed, just passed, fifty, forty, like. Writing letters to try to get me to the next grade. <laughs> like I was, it was making donations. It was making, it was, you know, no, we're, no, joking, no, we're joking, we're joking, joking. There was no donations. Yeah, yeah. But um, just, N- just, NDA. Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> just generally making it happen for me to get the next grade. And then in grade 11, um, I started doing this this thing, it's called Master Maths, and it really helped me, the science, etc. No brand deal or anything, but just they really did help me. My grades went up. But also, my dad said to me, You have, he said to me, and I remember he sat me down, he said, you are nearly 18. Yeah. After 18, your life is yours and I'm not going to help you. (laughs) What? (laughs) Made me study so hard. I studied every night (laughs) until like (laughs) 4 a.m. You you put like pressure. Yeah, and then I I graduated everything and then my dad was like, no, you know, if you're marks, you can do, you know, electrical engineering, et cetera. So I said, okay, you know what? Let me apply for it and everything. But in secret, I applied for drama i applied for economics which is what i did end up doing i applied for stats i applied for a lawyer i applied for like literally like maybe like no seven bro degrees. you're capping so not what happened it, literally, yeah, I yeah, you, you applied for those things but at the same time you're really good at drama yes i was so extremely it was always good. a thing of like are you gonna uh, do study drama, drama or, or something or commerce yeah, or engineering yeah. and he oh, my dad kind of he would say you have the choice because you sold me how and how how yeah. unhappy I was. Yeah. So you said to you, you have the choice between the two, but yeah. if it was up to me, I would suggest. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Like I'll tell you how, how how you ended up like getting me was basically. So I got accepted for everything. So now this is the problem. You've got too many choices. You can be a lawyer. You can be anything. I got into everything, engineering, everything, and my heart is like what I said was torn between drama now because that was like 
my biggest passion that I've always wanted to become a director when I was a kid. I, I loved movies. I loved watching TV all the time. And then the second thing was maybe doing, you know, either law engineering or it was law engineering or Commerce. I think or something in accounting. I think it was accounting as well. Commerce, yeah. yeah. So then my father, <laughs> he was so smart. You know what he made me do? Mm. He's like, okay, you can do <laughs> drama. You can, no, this is your life. You can do drama, have fun. But please do me a favor. <laughs> Go Google salary <laughs> of all the degrees you want to do. And of course, I chose the highest one. <laughs> what was drama? Do you remember? Uh, no, th- I couldn't find it. <laughs> it's step number it, one. I checked maybe like website after website after website, but I wasn't searching the right thing. You're supposed yeah, to search producer. Director, producer. Supposed to think. I literally just searched drama, drama degree um, work and I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, let's go into the tweets and see what people said. Um, this one girl said, there's a smart girl who was three grades ahead of me. I looked up to her and, and as another smart girl in the school. Oh, she really covers herself. <laughs> um, so she told, she had told me she wanted to study chemical engineering. So I just copied her. Whole life. Just because someone three, I, I'm sure that person that was three grades above her like had a passion towards like chemicals and yeah. what what. She wanted to make the new glue which and redefines and how carpets are made. And just, just literally just like, but imagine <laughs> your whole life is because you just saw someone you're like, that oh, cool. you smart, I'm smart. There we go. Whatever you can do, I'm going to do. So yeah. Um, I, wonder what, the, I wonder if that person got the degree because that's a very hard degree to, to get. Yeah, I know it's 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 you. It's it's so labor intensive. But I think a lot of degrees are labor intensive. Before we go to the next tweet, some more than others. Let's let yeah. I was about to go into that. What is your degree hierarchy? Ah, you start. No. Ah, uh, my degree hierarchy. Before you go and ruin your career. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Let me just stop you. The fact that you have an answer. <laughs> No, no, no. Let me just stop you. The fact that you have an I answer. I was repeating the question to understand and what's going on. I understand on. why you, you have an answer. Again, you studied engineering. Engineers think <laughs> that they're the bread and butter of the universe, but it's not. It's not the case. There is, so let me tell you, let me tell you this, um, young black king and queens and, you know. Other. And other. <laughs> there is no degree hierarchy. There is only people and their capability within degrees and compatibility. I, myself, know for a fact I'm compatible in the arts. So I'd be doing really well. It would seem easy to me. But I would know for a fact I am not compatible with literature. I would be horrible as like an English major or whatever, like yeah. to the English. That would be a hard degree for me. But there is no such concept as one degree being harder than the other degrees. Okay. I disagree, but okay. You disagree. Yeah. And the reason people think that one degree is more um, harder than the other is because of, what is it called? APS. APS points. So one degree is harder to get in. Why? <laughs> because there's more... It needs a high APS score. Why? Practicality. Not practicality. It needs your high, ability like the to learn to be higher than others because it's not easy to con- take in that information. I, I honestly don't agree, bro. Like, I honestly don't agree. I, because in my... Okay, when I go be a doctor tomorrow, go do a doctor. Get all degrees are the same. Go study medicine. <laughs> go study medicine. I didn't say all the degrees are the same. <laughs> you did. You, said, you did. You said no I degree is harder than the other. No degree is harder than the other. It's medicine. about compatibility. That's what I'm saying. Compatibility? Yes. Your compatibility with the degree. One degree can be hard for you and another can be easy for you. People that complain about... You know there are people that get hundreds in engineering. There are people that get... Because they study hard. They work hard. They put in more time. No, no, no. But they, we all know those one people that they say, ah, they, I'm going to take a nap before the day of the exam. And they Because they they've pass. been working hard the whole year. Because compatibility. They know the degree. They, they there's no, consume there's, the content better there's than no, another. There's no being in the world who is smarter than another being. It's just the fact that you work harder. You you put in more time. So, fella, fella, you, you really think... Harder. So, do you think your degree was harder than mine? Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. <laughs> you killing me, yo. I think I think your degree was the same as mine, but just not as intensive as mine. Like if you just look at scheduling, the amount of contact mm. sessions, the amount of practicals I had, the amount of classes I had, the amount of modules I had. Yeah. It uses different parts in you. And our our degrees use similar like uh skills and techniques to get yeah. things done. 
Okay, let's go to the next one. Um, but I mean, engineering does have a higher APS than commerce. Like you have to get more marks. So maybe I would say it's a little bit harder. How much is it? Do you remember? I can't remember. I think it was like two points only. No, nah, it was like six points away. Nah, there's no way. Anyway, so my weed dealer, it's, it's like three, ne? Ah, uh, no, not UJ, not UJ. <laughs> no, even UJ. No, uh, UJ is not, uh, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. But engineering at UJ is 36. Engineering at UJ is 36? Then commerce at 28, yeah. yeah. Mine thing. was like 30 something. I remember because I did calculus, I did linear algebra. Yeah, your, your degree, that's what I'm saying. Your degree is uh, difficult, but others. So the next one said, um, my weed dealer was doing a PhD in <laughs> differential geometry and got He's wait, 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 wait. He's what? My weed dealer was doing <laughs> a PhD. Bro, you know when I was growing up, I used to think, like we dealers are gonna be the scariest guys in the world, <laughs> but here comes this guy in slides, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just there like, oh wait, I've never done drugs by the way. I'm just saying this on camera, but like, <laughs> but no, you I get, get you. Like you've got friends, yeah. Smoke. I know in the people who smoke and stuff, but what is it called? Here comes this guy, and he's wearing slides, and he's the chillest guy, and he's like, yo, dog, I have to submit. Yeah, you're like, what are you doing, bro? Oh, medicine, dog. Yeah. Oh, this now is just a side So like, like it's actually so insane. I think now that weed also is now, you know. Like not illegal and etc. It's legalized. It's legalized For consumption at home. And like it's just such a crazy concept that people are making so much money from weed now. Like what? Yeah. And people got you know how people got arrested for selling weed. But the markup is crazy. Yeah, like weed is actually so cheap. But now people just call it a blue cheese, extra terrestrial. Yeah, muhodu, muhodu um, pineapple. I haven't heard of that one. Anyways, but my weed dealer was doing his PhD in differential geometry and got me interested in physics one time when we were doing. Bong rips together. No, sure. ripping bong like, <laughs> bro, you should, bro, you should totally like, like, bro, like, I definitely like me. Yeah, that. like the interterrestrial realm like, of bro, like let robotics. Me, let me blow your mind right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me, let me blow your mind right now. Everybody listen, everybody listen. I'm gonna do it right now. Um, yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Oh my god. I can tell you why that happened. <laughs> Never dropped his phone and he's talking about gravity. For yeah, me. for people listening to the podcast. Listeners. So um, guys, check us out on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Yeah. Guys, with us TikTok and Instagram. We are everywhere. We're trying to be everywhere. When you guys to see us, man, we're trying. Yeah. We're trying to be visible in the right way. Yeah, but that's the end of the tweet. Let us know also, like, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, let us know how you guys chose your degrees and, like, how... <laughs> what? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I found that funny because we're going into our marketing bag now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But let us know uh, for the people watching. Let us know how you, you know, um, chose your degree. And if you listen to this on uh, on Spotify or any any streaming platform, screenshot the, uh, the, the 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 platform, post on your story, and tell us how you chose your degree. Tag us. You know, let us know because we're trying to, you know, see like. How does everyone actually choose their purpose in life? Yeah. So, which is a modern scam that has somehow been normalized? I want to say this. So, can I whisper in your ear? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I can't say the name of the franchise and etc. Maybe I should just generalize television. Like, they had us in a monopoly for so long. So, so long. We had no other alternative options. And now that we have an alternative option. But did you see DSTV lost? I just said their names. But DSTV just <laughs> lost. Oh, no. Multi-choice just lost 2.8 billion rand. In the previous year. Yo, that makes sense 2. though. 2.8, I think it was 2.8 billion We've got billion Netflix, rand. we've got Showmax, Disney Plus came and shook the world. Yeah, like bro, we have so got many YouTube, but we've like, got Apple TV. There was a time when there was no choice. We were watching repeats in South Africa. I don't know if people are watching this in other countries. In South Africa, we were watching repeated, we were watching movies from America 55 times. Do you know how many times I've watched Mama Jack? <laughs> yeah. Snakes on the plane? Snakes on the plane. Anaconda? Anaconda. There, there came a point where like we didn't consume TV anymore. Not even because we didn't have options, like we had YouTube and stuff, but like TV was just boring. Like it was better to just step outside and go drink or step mm. outside and go chill with friends because TV had nothing. See, Cartoons we, we, were dead. Like everything was just pop. We, we were also called, we really like liberated ourselves because I think our parents basically disconnected the TV where we basically stay. And that changed everything because we literally didn't have DSTV. And remember, oh, I used we to don't watch have DSTV. DSTV. Yeah, yeah. Crazy they lost thing 2. is, two point nine billion. Sorry, no, two point one says two point nine, one says two point eight. Yeah. Oh, nice fact checker. Crazy thing is, bro, I haven't had DSTV in this house because we stay in this house together in like yeah. for like three years, and I haven't even realized. 
Now nah, I used to watch TV all the time. Like in my mind, the DSTV still works. If Hunza said, "Yo, switch, switch on the TV," I was gonna switch it on. No, we don't have DSTV anymore. Oh no, we do have it, but it's all, it's all basically they took us down to like the the lowest plan, so we can only watch certain channels. Oh, but that's one, that's one of the ones I believe in. Yeah, I wanted to buy TV today, but they're saying no. Who's taking day? Fin- finances <laughs> is saying no. I think I can do it, bro. I want to get a. I want to get a for Europe. Yeah, bro. Why would you not do that? Thank you. That's a long term investment as well. Okay, let's jump into it. What is a modern scam that has somehow been normalized? Let's go into it. Playlist curators making artists to pay to place in their playlists. Modern day pay- payola. Sounds like a DJ that's just mad about something we don't understand. Yeah. You didn't yeah. give me yours, dog. You didn't tell me what yours is that you believe in. I'm trying to think. What is a modern, what's a, uh, what is a modern scam that someone has... Be- oh, like the government. Having governments... Is a scam. It's all of a sort. Oh, you mean like how governments govern? No, like just the government in general. Like we assume that the government is the like that. That is who has the real power. Like we assume you vote oh, for a political party. Okay. You put in the oh. ANC. The NC has pos- yeah. positions of presidents and ministers and the cabinet. But you, the, the whole they time the government control. works for you. The government works for no, not for us. For the top zero comma zero percent. But I'm saying it, they're supposed to be working for you. That is what yeah. the government is for. Yeah, they're not. So that's. I think the government is a scam. I think that's all just a big ass conspiracy theory. Yeah, that's so interesting. Yeah. I've never heard you say this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd ever say it on camera, but that's how I feel. Um, dating. <laughs> Bro, I want to read this thing again. What? What is what is a modern scam that has somehow been normalized? Dating is a scam. Now this person just hurt. Yeah. Degrees in the arts, selfie sticks. <laughs> And his hysteria, you had a selfie stick. hysteria over pronouns. You that's, had a that's stick. rude. Everything there is rude. Huh? You had a selfie stick. Yeah, I'm a content creator. No, no, no don't, don't do that. Did you have a selfie <laughs> stick? Yes or no? I've never had a self, I've never bought myself a selfie stick. You've never bought yourself, but you had a selfie stick. <laughs> I think I had one. You think? <laughs> you think you had a selfie stick? Did I have a selfie did you, stick? Did you have Tato Rampedi? Did you have a selfie I stick? I didn't. I didn't. One where I pressed the button to take a picture, I did not have a selfie stick. You're scared of using your arm. I you had one. <laughs> I didn't have a selfie stick. You had a selfie stick. I didn't have a selfie stick. <laughs> I didn't have a selfie stick, but did you have a selfie stick? <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm a real man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, someone here said governance in Nigeria, bro. You see? Yeah. You know, in economics, we speak about uh, maximization of utility. Which is basically the oh, this is him trying to show me that economics is the same yeah, difficulty I'm, I'm, as let, engineering. Let so we basically, <laughs> so in economics, we have figured out ways to measure utility. Utility being happiness or rather satisfaction, right? And using those equations, you know, we we find out that politicians obviously try to maximize the utility by doing what? Maximizing their votes. When they get they maximize their votes, they what do they try to maximize next in South Africa? Their corruption. Mm. Why do they maximize corruption? Because they, it makes them a bigger pocket, right? Mm. But every country in the world has corruption. It's just about managing it. Yeah. You understand? Closing the taps. Closing the taps, if we can say. And having those um, audit measures in place for government to not, you know, take away from the people's welfare. Yeah. But what I find especially interesting is that governments themselves, right? Like, this is the craziest thing, right? Like, let's use the ANC as an example. Uh, I love the ANC. <laughs> I have to say that on camera. <laughs> I love the ANC. Uh, but um, the ANC spent months giving free shirts, skippers, discovering to the poorest of, poorest, poorest, poorest of the- uh, low, low income households. Uh, low income households of, of South Africa, right? Why do they do this, right? It is called the, like the bias vote, basically. It's basically, what happens is that there's this law in economics that is voting a good thing and it's not, right? Because basically people lack information to make decisions on voting. So basically now I have no source of information, internet, what, what, what. And here comes this guy once a year, he gives me a shit and <laughs> tells me the promised land is coming yeah. and I vote for him. Fact. And now that biased vote now makes us have no change. Yeah. Uh, I saw a video on TikTok. Some lady was like, I've I've been with the ANC for years, mm. but I've never gotten a t-shirt. <laughs> and the EFF came and guess what they did? They gave me a t-shirt. 
So who am I going to vote for? The EFF actually cares. So like, as you're speaking, I'm thinking you've watched this video, bro. I've never Some seen lady it. was basically saying that the ANC does not care for her due to the fact that they, didn't give they her have not delivered her a yellow t-shirt. Yeah. But the EFF gave her a t-shirt. Yeah. All right, guys, if you're listening, you've been waiting for it. You've been earning <laughs> for it. Your Netflix is dry. You have no shows that you're watching. This is Lebo and Tato's recommendation for the week, 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 week. <laughs> All right, guys. So Tata and I actually shout out in Bali. Uh, shout out in Bali. Somebody's my creative director for most of my shows. Looking yeah. for she, she's there. a Rampedi uh, media yeah. asset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, last week's uh, recommendation was Succession, yeah, but yeah. this week's recommendation is a new series on. Oh, it's not new. new. There's three seasons. You know that. Yeah, I can't wait, bro. Let's describe it to them. So this show is on. Apple, yeah. Apple show. It's called Apple. Yeah, it's called, what Apple. It's called Apple TV. Apple TV. Yeah. TV. So it's called Apple TV. It's yeah. called S E E C. Yeah. Not seen. C. Not S E A. I, I looked C. for C everywhere. You too. I told you. No. Yeah. I heard seen. Yeah. Uh, I heard C. I heard seen. I heard C. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys know it's S E E C. Yeah. C. Do you want to speak about? Do you want to tell them what it's about? Imagine a world where no one could see. Years from now, thousands everyone years. is blind. Thousands of years. Thousands of years. Generations and generations. Light years away <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> Light years away on Earth. Come back around and come back to Earth. <laughs> People have lost the ability to see. Everyone is blind except two newborns. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, oh yes, yeah, so the guy. His name is Jerem Jeremal. 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 Uh, so basically, the show bros thousands of years into the future on Earth. Yeah. Uh, everything that's been happening right now on Earth is like a myth. Like us having cameras, us having technology, yeah. us having TV, internet, electricity is a big ass yeah. myth. Thousands of years have gone to the point where, um, bro, when they pray, they masturbate. That's how they. That's how they. That's how yeah. they pray. Well, I, I don't know how that has anything to do with the show. <laughs> but- <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you mentioned that. But that's the point, though. Like they, everything so, is so different. It's everything. It's a completely different um, world, and everyone basically is everyone is blind. And then there's this one guy who who could see, and he basically had a child of one of these girls that is blind, and two newborns who have the ability to see um, are basically born, but they have to obviously like hide they it, have to and, hide the fact that they and can all see. these things. But it is an action packed show yeah because if you can see you're considered as a witch yes and you're considered yes. to have the gift of light yes and they speak about like how vision just brings poison and toxins to the yes. world like when you have vision you can judge you can discriminate yeah. you know you can be racist yeah. the show's got black people white people color it's people it's poetic it's very poetic it's, it's very, very poetic. but it's the most my favorite part of it is so like i think tato sent me the message he said for blind people you think blind people are going to be you know so like peaceful. preserved and carved it's uh, Opposite. It starts with them going to battle. Bro. Yeah, war. Imagine it, blind people fighting other blind people. Sorry, you'll get that if you watch it. Yeah, <laughs> it. That's definitely the show of, of the, the week. week. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. What else am I watching, bro? Of course, Succession. Is, I'm still watching, and that is fire. Uh, we were debating if Blacklist is fire. I think Blacklist is one of the best shows in the world. Here we go. Level doesn't really agree. I think it's amazing. If you guys haven't watched Blacklist, from me personally, if you're on a show which has like. A very slow storyline, uh, which you know is jam packed and is nice, and has a new, uh, a new plot every episode because it's like you know yeah. crime and mystery and stuff. I definitely recommend uh, Blacklist. And on my side, for my personal recommendation, I am going to recommend a K drama. I'm going to recommend a Taiwan class. You guys what? should check that out. It's basic Ituan class. Ituan class. Uh, Ituan. Ituan. No, no, no. Ituan. Okay, <laughs> class, but basically it's a story. It's 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 beautiful. It's about struggle. If you really if you really want to watch a show that will motivate you to be bigger, be better, and always take the right road, that's the show to watch. Yeah, I forgot yeah. that. And then Thank who's, you guys. who's been killing it on YouTube since we're YouTubers? Oh yeah, who's been killing it? Um, there's that guy. I think his name is Dumi. Hey, we spoken about Dumi. He's killed. Who else has been killing it? Uh, this other guy. I don't remember. Hmm? Let me 
As in, post that video. No, recently. not TikTok on YouTube. Yeah, I said Lebron and Penny posted a video on YouTube. You go watch my, you go watch my recent video. And make me like yeah. to rant. <laughs> I mean, literally. <laughs> no, go watch my every video's view. I think is like a zero point one cent. So I really appreciate it. Yeah. No, that's a lot. It, oh yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. But yeah, YouTubers are killing it. I don't know who 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 have we been watching. We obviously watching Mr. Beast. Beta Squad is dope. Yeah. I've yeah, been watching no a lot is, of YouTube. No one is doing it. No one is doing it. Oh, I watched. To I watched. They've been doing it. I watched. Uh, uh, Kanye's vlog a bit about him going to Durban the vacation thing that was pretty cool I liked it it was a good video I think he's using a oh, he's, he uses it sometimes but he's using a, a, a videographer mm-hmm. so I think that's really cool also like it, it gives us more of a lens into yeah, his yeah it's life. cool I think that's that's yeah that's something that's cool yeah I think I think for me he's been really doing hyper intensive like look into my life like I don't I think if someone I don't watch all his videos I'd be alive if I said it but I think if someone watched all their videos, they feel like they knew that man off by heart. He like Ghost? Really, yeah, because he releases everything about his life. Everything. No, he doesn't. He does, bro. He only speaks about who he's dating. And even in that, they don't speak about the relationship. It's a prank. Bro, that guy will talk about... Yeah? Uh, like, yeah. he'll talk about making money, like, working hard, motivational quotes, what, what? He's, what his mind's... I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, maybe I don't watch quotes like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? No. Okay, maybe away. Maybe he's done that once or twice, but like he doesn't speak about his personal life. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm He doesn't even me. like, what's his surname? How? Uh, who would. Kluby. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, he gives advice. He's no, no, no. You guys are thinking like that because you know him. You know him. No, from his videos. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, nah. I've he's never, very nah. aspirational. So he'll motivate the kids to like, you know, work hard and everything. Yeah. But he does not, he's, his personal life is not even attached. You yeah. only know who he's dating. I guess maybe because. Maybe Ramo recently Taylor. I saw he did like a um, Never Have I Ever or something with his hand or like a tweet or something, like a something. Like a question. Suppose or something with his hand. But what about you? Who are you, who are you, who are you feeling right now? Uh, you, honestly, you're also doing it, by the way. You're so consistent. I don't think there's been a week you haven't posted in like yeah, five time. years. Yeah, my I, okay, my vlogs, I, I, I think my vlogs are movies, bro. Shout out to my editor Davies. My vlogs are. Probably the most cinematic vlogs for on, someone, on, for someone like not on YouTube, like f- a male doing YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, it's not a guy doing YouTube like me as cinematic. Yeah, yeah. and as aesthetic as well. I think as I aesthetic. Say. Maybe some of the some of the, the some of the girls are killing it, but as no, I've got no male competition. Oh, Babaki, I love it. I love it. Babaki, I love her, love her channel. She does university vlogs. Uh, I'm I've, trying I've, to go through my. Ideas. I actually even hit her up, and I was like, "Yo, dude, I'm a huge like." I was like, "Yeah, I really watch your videos." Yeah, yeah. Like I, I really enjoy her videos. They're so aesthetic, so peaceful. Like, bro, like it's it's a slow place. She does she plays on a slow place vlog, but I really enjoy it. It's those people that like you know. I got I got one. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> but she has a very slow paced vlog. I really am enjoying her, her vlogs. Yeah, yeah. It's like the second time you speak about. It. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. Clax, Clax posted a vlog, bro. Oh yes, yeah. I even re- I, I even posted it. That was really cool. Yeah. yeah, he posted a vlog. Nothing crazy. Like it's not like a crazy vlog, but it's yeah. like it was cool to see him just vlogging. Yeah, and it wasn't like anything crazy. Like they went, went to Greenside, they went to yeah, went to Green, yeah, that was dope. Like he was speaking to camera. I like the music he used as well. Music was dope. There was like a bit of a cinematic thing somewhere in between it. That was really dope. Yeah. Outside of that, YouTube, yeah, that's that's it. I've, I can't speak about TikTok. But I haven't been consuming TikTok. Ah, uh, TikTok. You I'm, know, I'm not really like. I don't know. I think, dude. I, I know this sounds really messed up, but I don't really like. Consume. I only watch TikToks that my boys really like send to me, I and it's that. all Americans and. If I'm, I don't really like look at South African like TikTokers content. Except for Siv, Siv, uh, Siv's been killing. But Siv's, but Siv's biting some other bro. There's as well, as well as I really fuck with what's that guy's name? Mac. Yeah. Yeah, I really like Mac stuff. Yeah, he's doing. He's going into more content of his girlfriend. I really like that stuff. Yeah. these bros. But that Siv guy can even not say he's biting someone's content. But like, I, you see the video that he did on Monaka. Yeah. Where he was basically, she was busy whiling out saying. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, she was. Yeah. So that video, like, it was the similar video from the past that I saw, and he commented on that video. So oh, I was yeah. there like, oh, but like, but obviously TikTok. But content beats you, content. Yeah, yeah, you repurpose. Yeah. So let me not yeah. say he's biting on the people's content. Content beats content. Like I've. But it's nice to be original. Yeah, but it's nice to be original. But I think not a lot of TikTokers are. I think it's just easy to just replicate, which is why, you know. Yeah, bro. There's not that many people that are creative anymore. Yeah, like, so Kunt, like you, Kunt is creative. You can, you can count. Like, you can literally count in your who's head. Who's actually creative. Who's creating yeah. content and people who are doing it. Repurposing. Trends. Yeah. People that are repurposing content. 
That's yes, why he's saying, yeah. yeah. So Hunter said, that's why a lot of TikTokers can make videos all the time. Yeah. All they do is repurpose, bro. You and just do what the next person, the person did. And it's, just did it's it. not hard yeah. to copy somebody's idea. Yeah. That is why when, you know, because I don't know if I can speak like, I don't know. I don't find myself like to be big in that space yet, but I do think I have like a stepping to speak on TikTok and stuff now because I haven't been no, there Nah, you guys are pretty big on TikTok now. Obviously, nah, you're, you're, you'll never see it. Also, I don't see my, my followers are not like 100, but I do have gang, you, millions views. of views, millions of views. But also yeah. like with the views thing, bro, we just don't respect TikTok views. Yeah, we don't. Like we see them like as... It's not the same as YouTube. And, and, and the crazy thing is that it actually is, is views. views. Yeah. yeah. But I want to speak on TikTok. Like I wanted to say that the crazy thing about TikTok, you know, is you have one side where people are creating and literally pushing like, I kid you not, like new jokes as it never before heard mm. jokes, like content that is fresh. You know, they're speaking jokes about the relevancy of life and making that into da, da, da. And on the other hand, you have the people who do the trends and, you know, they just put a caption and over a sound mm. gets millions of views. And you see the people who are creators like- Getting small views. Getting small views. Yeah. And, and then it begs the question, you know, what is content creation right now? Because I think right now we're living in a place of like replication, not creation. And mm -hmm. that's something that, that really has been popular. Yeah. Like Even like on YouTube, bro. Yeah. Even like on YouTube, like, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's why like someone will do like, yeah, facts, bro. Yeah. Even on YouTube. I feel like a ghost, you know? Yeah. 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 You got me. Like, cause I'm even thinking like TikTok for sure. Even YouTube, bro. Like, Everyone is like, let's say King Omar does six versus one girl. Yeah. Then the next person. Everybody's gonna do. There's even the phase where everybody's putting people yeah. on blind dates with the yeah. one person in between and then the two people. So it's kind of like, ah, guys, like let's do yeah. some shit, you know. Yeah. Also, it's crazy. It's up to like, because we're I, I'd say I will circle some of the biggest YouTube in South Africa. Yeah. It's up to us to create what the new. Um, Type of uh, content's gonna be about no, but but one hundred percent. But we do. I mean, that's what we do. We push. But when you go hard on YouTube, you, got, you guys king on TikTok. But when you go hard on, on YouTube, YouTube yeah. we need to push people away from this uh, smash or pass, speed date, six yeah. versus one. Like remember, there was a day, there was a time, bro. Every two months, something would trend new on YouTube. Yeah, would be a new challenge yeah, to do, something fun to do. Yeah, and it's up to us to actually do that again. Oh wait, oh sorry, I just remember because people are just replicating what Ko was doing, what Kunz is doing, what you and I are doing. Yeah. And it's like there is this one kid like on TikTok. He's he's I really think he's creating and he has the hold on the people and Snow Abile. I think that's how you say his name. Oh, Abile. No, Snow Abile. Snow Abile. What is Snow Abile. Snow Abile or something like that? I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry if I, I butchered it, but dude, that guy, he's okay. He's in his reaction phase now. I think we all go into our, like oh, I haven't gone there yet, but the one way like so he went from create. To now he's like doing the reaction thing. So he acts on everything that just happens in the world, etc. But he really is so in touch with like the common man to man. Like he's so funny, bro. Like I think that guy's hilarious. I really wish he would create like more like skits, you know, like skits and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, like, 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 it's what, like what we said, you know, we push those narratives of that we are the top 1% of content creators and maybe top 10% of content creators in, in South Africa and we have a what? voice and etc. But when we create, it doesn't make money and it harms us. But we want to do it so badly, but it's, it's a, you put in a place of discomfort. We need to have which is meeting. why we replicate. You know what we I mean? We need to have a meeting like all of the top dogs. We need to have a meeting sit down and say, Facts. guys, what do we want Facts. to push on YouTube? Like what is our narrative because, as content creators? Because now, you know what the problem is now? Now Ghost is at the top right now. Yeah, right? yeah. And Fully. Ghost is doing all this content which you can't even make money from yeah. in terms of brand deals. Yeah. Now all of the kids that are watching Ghost they are seeing Ghost it. live a flashy life yeah. and want to create in the same similar manner to Ghost. And it's like, Ghost has other businesses which help them generate income, yes, right? Yes. But now when you get to 100K subs or 150K subs, you're gonna assume you're gonna have the same pocket as Ghost and you I won't don't. have the same yeah. pocket as, as Ghost. It's an illusion, we lie. A lot of people are lying. So the genuine right. needs to be a council because I'm realizing we're actually affecting so many young kids. Yeah, and, they, and how they think. Did I, like I thought about it the other day, I said in when I was just there like, bro, you know, as content creators, like even with the earthquake thing, me making the joke and what about this, this and making a TikTok is like, like we have, we are the the go to on a lot of information because a lot of kids don't read the news and what are this mm. is that. So whatever we push into the space becomes culture. You know, we are the culture. You know, us the rappers, everyone like yeah. we uh, the I'm a piano artists. We are the culture. So that's why I make Jay to get a uh, fact finder even. Yeah, but that is why we. It is so important for us as content creators to push. You know, positivity, wine, aware, but also be real, but create, not replicate. It's just copy, 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 paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And it's like, that is why people say this, no one's doing it on YouTube anymore. 
but we're trying our hardest because you don't want to watch you don't new watch, stuff. Yeah, yeah, you don't watch that new thing. That's the thing, and yeah. it's been a chat for years. Like YouTubers would be like, "Yo, like you know, uh, I try new things. Don't watch. You start to go back to the other stuff." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If we form some sort of community and we say, "Guys, let's try and push this type of content because this type of content is more sustainable. It's got longevity." It's got more chances of getting brand deals, so we can teach the young kids, mm. bro. We go to the mall, go to Eastgate. I think it was me, you, Percy, Honse, Arjun. And those kids, even at Kyo shoot, they're like, "Yo, bro, would you rather have a gay son or a lesbian daughter?" What? Is, is that's not content, yeah. bro. And and but you like, know why though? It's because they're replicating what they see in Mang Mang's yeah. video and Mang Mang's video. acting sass. And yeah, do you get what I'm saying? So we need to genuinely reshape the content. But yeah, guys, yeah. that's anyways, what you yeah, yo, podcast. Yo, yo, sorry, that last part. I don't know if you guys are even listening. <laughs> to it. That was just a conversation between Tata and I. But yo, thank you so much for watching C2 of Maluma. It has been a pleasure to for you guys to hear our voices. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for on YouTube. If you're on uh, any streaming platform, give us the five stars and make sure you share this with a friend or an ex. Just to say hi. But anyways, it's been a pleasure. I've been level. That's your boy Tato. And we are grateful. Amen. Bless.